cooking. Um, I actually had greens this morning. I think I had like two glasses because I was making a reel and I was like using greens as like a prop, but I ended up having to refill the greens so I could have more in my cup. So I drank like hella greens. These are the two sandwiches for JJ and I. They are delicious. They are super simple. We actually had these last night for a super late snack, so. It's very good, just get you a little toaster and you will be good to go. Mini life update for you, I guess. So JJ and I got back from Florida. Um, we went to Florida like two days after I got back from Denver. So we were traveling a little bit and I hadn't been home for a while and this is like my first full week that I was home. Got to enjoy the weekend and I'm getting back into my routine. Um, I should be done with school in like less than two weeks. I should be done on the 19th. So that's like 11 days away. I cannot wait. I'm super excited. I'll be a first generation college graduate. And for anybody curious, I'm majoring in communications and I'm minoring in psychology and I can't wait to be done. Like, I don't think you understand. I've always been an online student except for my first year of college when I was at a JUCO, but my remaining years, three to four years, cause I'm like a fifth year senior. Um, I have been online prior to COVID too, so I'm really excited to be done, really ready for it. I should be getting my Gymshark package today. That should have like some of the new sports bras, so I'm excited for those. This is actually a new one as well, and I have the matching shorts on. These are like booty cheeky shorts, so I won't be wearing them out of the house, but they are super comfortable to just lounge around in. If you guys didn't hear the voiceover for our Gymsharks International Women's Day campaign, that was me, that was your girl. That's what I went to Denver for and then also got to see the office. But I just feel so thankful, if you guys didn't see my last vlog, to actually have had the opportunity to do that. The sun is finally shining, the weather's getting a lot nicer, and JJ and I have decided like we're gonna move to Florida. We don't know when, but we will be moving to Florida because our souls thrive there and it's closer to his family. So we love that. After this, I think I will show you guys my closet and do like a little closet tour because I brought all of my activewear that was not all of it, but a ton of my activewear that was upstairs in my closet. I brought it downstairs because I wear activewear every day and my normal clothes fit in that closet upstairs a little bit better. So I have all my sports bras, a lot of my frequently worn like leggings, pants, shorts, that kind of thing. And then all of my Gymshark tops are downstairs. And then what's upstairs still, I have a dresser of like leggings. And before everybody goes crazy and tells me, you have too much, you need to get rid of it. I have an entire trash bag of stuff that I'm donating. Um, and also prior to me being a Gymshark athlete, I was an avid buyer and like I said, I do wear activewear every single day. So I do kind of justify it, although I know that I have more than any actual human needs. And when I have duplicates or stuff that I don't wear anymore that can still be used, I usually will just give it to my friend Tyra, who you guys know, or I do just donate it. But I'm excited to show you my closet. I'm very proud of it. It's pretty organized. There's always things that people say that they can fix, but I'm gonna show it to you guys anyway because I'm kind of proud of it. So I'm gonna eat this before it gets cold and we will chat soon. Here they go. See you. Bay is going out to the garage to get a workout in. So the lighting in my bathroom, it's artificial of course, but right here I have my window. So I'm gonna open her up. Um, my closet has just like regular lighting. It's kind of yellowy, but we're gonna deal with it anyway. So let me set you guys up real quick and give you a whole rundown. Okay, so since I don't have anybody to film for me, you guys are just gonna sit on my tripod but when you enter my closet, it's just open. You guys have seen it before. And this is the first thing that you are met with. So right here, I have hella hangers. Everybody makes fun of the hangers that I use because I have them from when I used to live at home. So I have tons of wire hangers, random colored hangers, all kinds of stuff like that. But this is where I put my outfits of the week. I like to choose them with you guys on my live on Sunday night, so that's what we did last night and this is what we came up with so today i wore the pink outfit that you guys saw this is tomorrow's outfit which is the first animal seamless with the new lavender marl bra today i'm going to wear the speed shorts with just a training crop top thursday we have this coral moment so this is the new corally peach marl bra with the og lilac gray seamless camo leggings and then on friday we have a yellow moment so i'm wearing the yellow Battle Seamless Crop with the new Cheetah Adapt Animal Seamless Leggings. Over here, I just have my Lulu Align Tanks because I keep them by themselves. And then you guys have seen me wear 
all of these jackets. These are all from Urban Outfitters. I have them linked on my It's From highlight on Instagram if you guys want to check it out, but you can just go to Urban Outfitters and it's called the Yogi Hoodie. I have them in five colors and I think they just came out with like a couple more, so might be getting those sometime soon. These are just new leggings that are coming out. This is kind of where I keep my newer things that I would like to wear. Um, I just have some hats down here, beanies, that kind of thing. And then down here, I just have like bralettes, soft sports bras, that kind of thing. Right here, I have all of my training sports bras. These are my favorite sports bras that Gymshark has come out with. So I just have them in a color-coded order. We have the red, yellow, the obsidian green, blue, slate blue, steel blue, um, a new purple that's gonna be coming out. This one is called Rich Mocha. I think it's so beautiful. This one is a taupe, and then I have like two of the same sports bras here, which is just the white Rouge training bra, and then the scoop neck. So these are my most worn sports bras. I just put them here because I have so many colors of them. And then as you move over, I have quite a few of my Vital Seamless crop tops because I'm super into shorts with a crop top, so I will just pick one of these usually and then I'm good to go. Here I have my Vital Seamless shorts. Love them, they're fantastic. I have some of the newer version and the older version. I have my Vital Seamless leggings. They start here, OG ones, and then some brand new ones. More Vital Seamless leggings. I have them kind of just hanging here because these are like, most commonly worn and I wanted to group all of these same ranges together. More Vital Seamless shorts. These are some of the more neutral colors and those same shorts in legging form. Adapt Camo and Animal. So I have the OG green camo leggings. These are like the first ones that ever came out. I have the pink ones, the burgundy, and then also the purple, obsidian green, this super bright blue, and then the more muted blue. A couple more of my Camo Seamless. Um, and my Adapt Animal Seamless, more of my Adapt Animal. So this is the zebra one, and then this is the first shark one that came out. Okay, and then as we come over here, first of all, I'm gonna try not to turn around because these shorts literally show my whole butt. This is just where I keep all of my Gymshark tops at, so I have them color-coded. Blues, greens, and purples, that's like my favorite colors to wear. Um, whites, grays, and black. So this is basically any Gymshark top you can imagine. I probably have it hanging up in here, so I have a hard time parting with things, so if I have a duplicate, like I said, I'll give that away. But a lot of it has a lot of sentimental value because I did purchase a ton of Gymshark by myself prior to me actually being an athlete. This is basically the same thing going on, just my little wall of sports bras. I found that this makes it a lot easier to pick outfits because I would run upstairs trying to find like one sports bra and it was kind of smushed together in the closet that we had upstairs because it's just in a bedroom so down here since all i wear is active wear it made it a lot easier to visualize and see what i had down here so i have the browns reds oranges pinks all of that stuff um and then my blues bucket of swimsuits under here a couple of shoe boxes and then over here is where I have some other common collections. So I have my lightweight seamless here, lightweight seamless. Then I have my marl seamless, my flex shorts. These are the high-waisted cycling shorts. And then I have some normal OG style flex shorts as well. More of my cycling shorts that are flex. Some OG styled flex leggings. These are some of the first Gymshark leggings that I ever purchased. The khaki green ones right here, as well as these blueberry ones. Some flex leggings. I actually ended up cutting the pink ones that you guys saw recently. My Whitney bottoms reside here as well. So I have all of my Whitney. Love it so much. I try not to touch it too often because it's some of my favorite and I don't want to ruin it, so that's where they chill out as well. So up here I just have some regular sweatshirts. I am a big crew neck sweatshirt wearer, so I just have a lot of my jackets and hoodies, crew necks and tops up here. Back here is where I keep like my running shorts, my sweat shorts, and then I have a ton of joggers that are here as well, color coded. These are all color coded and then I have a ton of my denim black pants, black jeans, and we kind of just throw a lot of hats up here as well. That's basically an overview of my closet. I kind of do take up the entire closet, I'm not gonna lie, but she's beautiful. Down here we have some of JJ's shoes. I got him these storage bins. He wears like a 13, 14, and I got those containers from the container store and they fit all of his shoes perfectly. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of questions asking about how I organize my stuff. It's basically by collection and then color coded. Um, but yeah, that's my little closet. That's my new closet that I did last night I did a lot of this when I was on live with you guys So if you guys saw that comment a cherry emoji 
If you guys saw me cut my leggings on live, comment the cherry emoji as well. And I would also like to say I'm so thankful that I even have the ability to store so much activewear in my closet. I wouldn't be living here if it wasn't for you guys and I hope you guys know how thankful I am for you guys' support because this wouldn't be possible without you guys. I wouldn't have the collection that I have without you guys and I wouldn't be able to house all of that if it weren't for you guys. I do want to share with you a new protein bar that just launched for Alani New. This is a strawberry shortcake bar. This is what the little packaging looks like. Super cute. If you guys haven't tried the Fit Snacks before, you absolutely need to. I really love the Fit Shakes. My favorite is just the vanilla and I also like the Munchies one. Other than that, I really like the protein bars. My favorite one is Peanut Butter Crisp and then Munchie on the inside. And then it's like coated in like white chocolate yogurt type stuff, which is super good. But this is only available at Vitamin Shop. So if you guys wanna go check it out and grab one for yourself, Go to your nearest vitamin shop and that's where they will have them at. They're not on the Alani or GNC website right now. The time has now come. My Gymshark package just got here, but I also just woke up from a miniature nap, which is why I look the way I do, but I promise this to you guys, so I'm going to follow through with it. This is like my excuse to get up, so now I'm like super excited. So I have this huge Gymshark package, which I'm really excited about. I know a lot of my stuff. I had a pretty tiny package the first time things came around. So I'm excited about these coming. I know that Ellie also decided to throw in a few pieces for JJ as well, which always makes my heart really happy. He loves Gymshark and he has the power collection that he's just absolutely obsessed with. And I think she threw in matching pieces for me too. So we are pumped for this. So this is the Restore Jogger in black and this one is for JJ. So it's in a size 2XL. Restore t-shirt in sage green. Love this, oh my gosh. He's gonna love this. Oh my gosh. This quality is just fantastic. The Restore sweatshirt in pebble gray in a size medium. So this one is for me. She got it for me a little bit oversized. This is like, oh, this is fantastic. It's a crew neck. <gasps> I love crew necks, yay. Love this color. It's like a super light cream color. I have this one in a white, I believe, for the high support. But I don't know if you guys can actually see the color. Love it. The quality, I keep saying that, but I swear I'm just kind of shocked by the quality, to be honest. And this is the Restore Pullover. This one is the hoodie version, so it has the hood on the back in a size 2X in the pebble gray for JJ. Right here, it's kind of risen, but it looks like it's like almost fuzzy. Like it's almost a suede type of thing going on. This is the same hoodie for me in a size medium. You guys, I'm telling you, like, please do not sleep on Gymshark men's because they have, they have some amazing things for women and you should not let them go. If you see them on the site, they're fantastic. It already has the cups on the inside, but I really like the fact that it has like the mesh chest part up here and it also has adjustable straps. I feel like I have one that's pretty similar to this already. So if you have a bigger bust and you're needing something with more support, you can actually go to the Gymshark website and you can filter by category and the support level. So under the bras, you can go for low, medium, or high support, and that is a great way to find something that's going to fit you. They also have a size calculator on the website. And the training shorts, love these. These will be coming this month, so be on the lookout. The training shorts are fantastic. I have a whole video about them, but I really wanted those patterned ones, so I'm glad that they finally came. Okay, and I actually have this bra ready. You guys saw me wearing it this morning. This one is a new training bra. It's definitely like a Nike Pro, if you guys have worn those before. They have a little bit more compression to them. That's exactly what this is like. I really like the fit, and I feel like if you're between sizes, I would definitely size up because it has so much more compression, but they're super comfortable. It doesn't come with any cup pads, but they're a great pickup, and they're also coming in like regular colors as well. These are wild. These are so insane, but I like these. There's so much detail on them, and here's what the waistband looks like. It has the Gymshark there. Super, super cool. Okay, so this is the Release Crew Neck, and this is the men's. I have this in a size medium. I think that it's so cute, and I will definitely be wearing this very frequently. Um, I just took mine up to JJ, and he's very excited about it, so I will do a quick little overview of... <laughs> I'll do a quick little overview of the bras for you guys real quick. First of all, here are the training shorts. I have these in a size extra small. I love the way that they fit. They're perfect and I really love this pattern. And then just so you guys know, the training and a lot of the bras are actually going to be dropping on separate days. 
so not everything is coming at once. There's different colorways from specific collections that will drop on one day, and then the other colorways from that collection will drop on another day. Certain collections will drop one day, and then other collections will drop another day. Just stay tuned to like my Instagram. Stay tuned to everybody's Instagram, the athletes, because we will put you guys in the know and let you know what things are actually coming, and I'll actually have a little cheat sheet so you guys can look and see and make sure you guys have everything right for yourselves. Um, but that's just something to know as well because these launches are so sporadic and super random. But training is coming this month. I know a lot of you guys are very curious about that because it has been a long time since they've actually been out. Um, but I will go into like the bras for you guys real quick. Okay, so this is the Scoop Neck Sports Bra and this is in the color Marston Green. So it's just a little bit different than the Obsidian Green. But I love this. It does come with the cup pads, so you can remove them if you want. I feel like I'm held in really well with this. Actually, wearing a size small, which is my normal size. I've talked about these before, but I just love the fact that it does have adjustable straps in the back. This is like one of the most comfortable sports bras that I have. And I would say that it is medium support, depending on your chest size. But I do have a more full chest, and I feel like this is a medium support on me. These are the joggers. So I have these in a size extra small. You don't have to roll them. You can wear them. A little bit baggier I like the fact that the pockets actually go really low kind of like how they do on men's joggers but super cute this is the length of them they actually do go like pretty far down I would say it's like a 7 8 on me just because I have long legs I love the way that it fits the booty it's very nice and I like the way that it actually does hug your waist even though it this uh, waistband is quite high. The orange, the black, and the green. The green is referred to as crushed lime. The orange is called tangerine twist. And then the black is obviously black, but there will also be a dusty teal and a scandy pink. So I'm sure those are gonna be cute. Okay, whoa, this is high support. This doesn't have a ton of stretch to it because it is like a shelf bra. You can see on the side, like this is the entire bra. I love this though. I feel like this is something that I would go running in. I feel super held in, and I really like the fact that it has like a soft little waistband right here, and it has ribbing on the bottom, but this is nice. So it doesn't have adjustable straps, but I mean, I feel secure. I feel very secure. So if you have a larger chest and you're wanting something that's just a little bit more simple, not super logo-y or colorful, I would absolutely say go with this. This is a high support training sports bra. I love this. I like the fact that it does give you like the little dip right here where your cleavage is, but you have a lot of coverage up top so there's no spillage whatsoever. Love her. So this pad got messed up, which happens sometimes in transit, but this is the Ruched training sports bra, which I already have a couple different colors of this. This will be coming in black, white, a gray, this orange is called Zesty Orange, and then I think there's going to be that crushed lime color, but that one's not coming yet. These will be coming on the 11th of March, so be aware. Love the Rouge Training Bra. If this pad wasn't messed up, I would be a lot more, you know, into it. Obviously, I do usually take out my pad, so it doesn't make a big difference for me, but if you want a little bit of detail on your chest and you want to feel held in, you definitely should grab this one. It also has adjustable straps in the back and I love the little crisscross and I like how minimal it still is in the back. And then I believe I've actually tried on both of these sports bras. So if you guys are wanting to see a full haul of like all of the sports bras that are newer, definitely go check out my sports bra haul. I will put it right here. Gymshark released a bunch of new sports bras at one time. They did a whole campaign about sports bras, which was really cool. So if you wanna see how these fit, they're just a little bit more high support, so they're a little harder to get on. And I am trying to go eat some food right now. But I have this in the white, and then I have this one in like the cream pink color. I think I'm going to be continuing this video into tomorrow because I want to show you guys the power collection, which will be coming soon. Don't have a date for that yet. Here comes Bronx. I will be doing that tomorrow when I have a little bit more daylight and I have a little bit more time. What is up, guys? I just got back from the gym. Bronx is so happy to see me. Where's your tug? Can I see your tug? I did a little upper body day. We did shoulders today. We're looking delightful, but we're gonna get started with the rest of this little try and haul for you guys. Okay, I guess we'll start with my current OOTD. So this is the new Adapt Marl Lavender Bra, and then I'm just wearing like some of the OG Animal Seamless leggings, and I have my purple Lane eights on. So first, I have the new Vital Seamless. These are the Vital Seamless 2.0 shorts. I think that these are coming in leggings. I just don't have the leggings. I got the shorts instead, but they do have the tapered waistband. They fit really well. I'm wearing these in a size extra small. I really like these. 
You guys can probably kind of see my underwear, but I'm not bothered by it if you're not bothered by it. fit really well, and they have a little booty contour, and then they also have a butt scrunch on the back. It's not super aggressive. I don't know if you guys like this style of, like, booty contour, but I really like it. On me, these are, like, a 7 8 fit, I feel like, but I really like how high the waistband goes. If you guys are between sizes, I would say sizing up is probably your best bet just because... They have more compression on the legs, although they're extremely stretchy. It's just something to be aware of. But you have the little Gymshark on the side. And I will show you guys the matching sports bra. But Tyra wore these and I wore the patterned ones. This is the other pattern that's coming. It's like a gray and white marbly paint type thing going on, which I really like. And I really love the bra as well. So I will show you guys that real quick. But anyway, this is the sports bra. I'm wearing a size small. I think it fits really well. It has like sewn in cup pads, but they're like not firm hard cut pads they're really soft it just kind of feels foamy so you have the detail that matches the leggings on here and then this is what the back looks like this one reminds me of the black mesh one that i showed you guys yesterday but love this the sun is changing all of these do come in their sports bra leggings and shorts i don't have every single one but i do have something from each you know like color or pattern i suppose so i will show you guys the blue and gray the black is basically this exact same thing. I don't know where it's at. I wore it recently, but it's on my Instagram if you want to see it in action. I think that this like marbly white one might be my favorite pattern or colorway out of everything in the power collection. It's just different and it's super cute. It hides any lines that you might have. I have the tag right here, but love the little booty scrunch. She's so cute. Love the sports bra. There's like a little padded part right here, which kind of reminds me of like biking shorts almost but it actually is really nice and there's no digging in i like the way that this sits and you just like fall into it instead of being pushed in certain ways there's no spillage like from the front we're all gucci we're good to go these are the leggings if you're between sizes i would say sizing up is the way to go just because i feel like if you size down you might struggle to get them on because they do have a good amount of compression on the legs when you're putting them on but then once you have them on they're like reasonably stretchy this is what the booty scrunch looks like. It's not like the Adapt Animal and Marl, but instead it has the seam on the inside and it's a flat lock seam. So you can see that it like kind of does all the work for you on the inside of the pants. And I feel like you won't have to worry about this laddering or stretching or tearing if you get your proper size. But I think that the little booty contour is super cute. I like the fact that it goes like high up, but yeah. Love this set. She's super cute and she's super comfy. Here is the blue set, the shorts and sports bra. I love this. This was the first set that I wore. It's basically the exact same as that gray, but in blue and in shorts form. Also still has the booty scrunch on the back. Love the sports bra. It's like extremely comfortable. I don't think I can explain it. It's just such a soft and silky material. These are not double lined, but there's also no front seam. That's something to be aware of. There's a small little seam at the top, but it doesn't cut in at all. But yeah, these are super cute. They fit really well. I swear, I said this on my Instagram, this outfit reminds me of a Dixie cup, like a 90s water cup. So if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Have the tops in a size small and all the bottoms in a size extra small. And everything will be coming in leggings, shorts, and sports bras in every single colorway, in every single pattern. So if you guys are into leggings, definitely pick those up. What is this? I think that the shorts are going to be great for spring, summertime, and one thing is that I feel like I'm not getting any like cutting in of the legs at the bottom of the shorts. They are shorter, so if you like like cycling shorts, these might not be your favorite, but I love them. They don't ride up too much, but I will say like if you're jumping around, you can probably expect them to like go up a little bit where you have to like pull it out of wherever it goes. But I love these, super cute. Okay, so that is basically everything that I've got recently in my packages. Hopefully that gives you guys an idea of what's coming. I don't have specific release dates for everything, but I will keep you guys posted on my Instagram. So make sure you guys give this video a like if you enjoyed the little laid back, chill, cumulative vlog, I suppose. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I shall be on here a lot more often. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Libby Christensen and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.